Hi guys, so in this video I'll be using yarn in size 3 and a crochet hook in size 3.75 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot, then I will chain 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now that we chained 5, on the last chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. So now we have created this loop and now I will chain 3. So right here through this loop I'll make 16 double crochets. This 3 chain already counts as 1 double crochet. We have 16 double crochets to finish off row 1 right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 1. So now for row 2 I'll chain 15 then I'll skip the next three chains through the fourth chain I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain 15. I'll skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain I'll make one single crochet. Chain 15. I'll skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain I'll make one single crochet. Chain 15 then I'll skip the next three chains and right here through this fourth chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 2. Now for row 3 I will chain 15 So now that we have chained 15 we'll put our thumb right here to this last chain and then we'll chain 4 more. Now on the 5th chain from the hook right there where our thumb is we'll make a slip stitch. Again now I'll chain 15 then I'll skip these next 15 chains and you see right there through the single crochet chain I'll make one single crochet. Now I'll chain 10 Then right there through that same chain I'll make one single crochet. So now we'll chain 25. Now right there through the same chain I'll make one single crochet. Again I'll chain 10. Then through the same single crochet chain I'll make one single crochet. Again now I'll chain 15.
So now that we have chain 15, we'll put our thumb right here through that last 15th chain. Then I'll chain 4. Then on the 5th chain from the hook right there where our thumb is, I'll make a slip stitch. Again, I will chain 15. Then I'll skip this large loop, then right there to his next single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. And now I will chain 10. Then right there through the same single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Again now I'll chain 25. Then right there through the same single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Then I'll chain 10. Then again, right there through the same single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Now I will chain 15. Then I'll put my thumb right there to the last chain, then I'll chain 4. Now that we have chained 4, right there to the 5th chain from the hook, right there where our thumb is, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain 15. Then I'll skip this large loop again, then right there through this next single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Chain 10. Then right there through that same single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Now I'll chain 25. Then right there through the same single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Chain 10. Then right there through the same single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. And then again, I will chain 15. Then I'll place my thumb right there through the last chain, and I'll chain four. Now on the fifth chain from the hook, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain 15. Then I'll skip this large loop. Then right there to its next single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. I will chain 10. Then right there through the same single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Then I'll chain 25. Then right there through the same single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. 
chain 10 then right there through the same single crochet chain I'll make one slip stitch now I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn 